Here's a behind the scenes look at our gluten-free sourdough process. This is me feeding our starter. Our starter, since it's gluten-free, uses brown rice flour and sorghum. So two days before we make our sourdough loaves, we refresh and feed our starter because it's been in the fridge since the last time we made it. Then the day before, we start our preferment. So that is our sourdough starter with some flour and some water, and then it's going to sit overnight. Kind of like a larger starter. Then we're going to feed the last bit of starter that we had to keep it going. We're going to add some flour and some water, and we're going to let it sit at room temperature for a few hours so it can grow. And we're going to pop it in the fridge. It's going to stay in the fridge for up to a week or until the next batch that we make. If it's more than a week, then we'll pull it out and feed it just to make sure we keep it going. So this is me the next morning getting all the ingredients ready for the sourdough. That was maple syrup. We use maple syrup instead of sugar for this recipe. We keep it as clean as we can. Some warm water. That's our preferment that we made yesterday. Some more water. I like to get this mixing then, and as I weigh out the psyllium husk, so we use psyllium husk because of our gluten-free flour blend. It works better in breads than xanthan gum does. Xanthan gum's better in like cookie recipes and things. So that was the psyllium. We're gonna get that mixing because it's gonna turn into a gel when it combines with the water. We keep that mixing while we weigh out our flours. Because this is gluten-free, we've got a combo of different flours. We've got tapioca, we've got sorghum, we've got millet, and we've got brown rice. And some salt. And then I like to give the flours a bit of a blend before we dump it in, because if you have clumps of tapioca, they can kind of gel together. Which you don't want. So we pre-blend it. I don't know if you can see there, but something different with gluten-free bread, especially this recipe, is we like to use our paddle mixer instead of a dough hook, which you commonly see with bread recipes. Now I'm dusting the proofing baskets with tapioca flour. I'm going to get the bread dough out. We're going to separate it out into the amount for each loaf, and then we're going to get it proofing in these baskets in a warm spot for several hours. Especially since it's winter time right now, what I like to do is we turn on our bottom oven on the lowest temperature just to heat it up and then we turn it off. You can see that we've got the sourdough proofing down there. By this time, it's fully proofed. It's been in there for probably four or five hours. We've got the top oven on super hot now. And we're going to get our loaves in the oven. They bake covered for about 45 minutes that so it steams the outside and then we take the bowls off to let them fully bake for another 35 to 40 minutes this is me taking out the bowls halfway through and then they'll go back in and that's it guys now they come out they're going to cool a bit and then we're going to slice them up when they're fully cooled and bag them I think they're just so beautiful and I'm obsessed with the sourdough right now. Thanks for watching.